I streaming? What the hell, eh? I got knocked offline just as I went to go online. I had to go reset my router. 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 Reset my router. Just got to make sure now everything is back. Because I had to whip over there. Run back here. Blah, blah, blah. Drama. Unbelievable. I don't know what the hell is going on. Let's refresh this page. Get that running again. Got that run. 22 seconds. Hi, folks. Get the hell over. We got a rip doozy for you tonight. There I be. Thirty-eight seconds. I'm back online. Usually that video don't come up for a minute or two, right? We do this every night. So, what was it? What did I say? Thirty-five seconds or something? Hey, do the math on uh, the ocean currents. So, say the current's going four uh, miles an hour, 24 hours a day. How long does it take it to get from one side of the ocean to the other side of the ocean? It travels up to nine kilometers an hour. Um, so, say four kilometers an hour. My number was 57 days. It's carried across the ocean. So in less than two months, whatever comes out of pukes out of Fukushima every day is here. Something else, isn't it? Scum buckets. It's crazy shit. Let me see. Uh, hi, Kate. York. Sergeant. Geez, you guys are buzzing through there now. Albert. Toxic. Annabeth. Gary. DC. Hernan Pez. I can't even pronounce you. Thank you. Aqua, Reram, Candace, Doiberdu, Tracy, jo Jocelyn, Wickers, thank you, Jocelyn, Annabeck, doesn't show you the time? No, yeah, she's snoring. Hi, Sergeant, uh, James, Albert, Huma, Missing Sky, Annabeck, John, Townsend, let me come back up, Bubba, Andy Vegas, Lori, hi, Lori. DC, Missing Sky, uh, did I miss anybody that time, to the list, Sydney, Stacy, Toxic, uh, okay, we sound fine, we look fine, bleh, hi Mom and Ox, we love Mom and Ox, she's a hard worker, that one, I mean, talking like you're the third person now, because <laughs> I'm right here, for me, seeing you folks is uh, just your names. That's you know, that's somebody, and there could be other people sitting there. It's a very humbling thing, okay? Um, Char, I got that link below for Lauren Moret. That's a pretty crazy video. I had 10 minutes left before I got to get online. As soon as I seen you posted it, I never even responded to you. I went over because I'm using another computer, and I had to set all of this up. Blah, blah. And my scooter is in the back room there. I should have dragged it out. But I'm going to do a video about that. Uh, they wouldn't take it back. They said I cannibalized it or, or, I, st or I, would, I might steal something off the scooter. Because <laughs> I want to send it back to him. Because it only does 9 kilometers an hour instead of 30. <laughs> Just, man, can't make that stuff up. We talked to the head office today. He said, what? Maybe she was having a bad day, he said. I said, guess who else is going to have a bad day real quick here? So their solution is they're going to send me parts to my brand new scooter. <laughs> it's just, you can't make this stuff up. Don't worry, though. I'm going to put together a doozy of all the emails and all the other stuff they've done to me. Should be interesting. Should be pretty funny. Published Puppet Masters. We're talking about the Billenberg Group. Uh, I lost track of everything that time because I started yakking scooter because that's what now I can't show you because it's on that computer um, I'm, okay let me get rid of that page because I'm screwing things up here now I wrote uh, last year when the Billingberg group met excuse me a touch of the flu I, I don't think I had the flu in the last seven eight years so why did I eat why, why do I got a little taste of the flu so this is the story of 120 individuals, and I wrote this last year, 
who obtain the ultimate dream, wealth, power, and influence. And this is not a Disney fairy tale of people who want to address their country from the podium before festivities commence. Nope. All the citizens around Watford Grove that is hosting these elites now have to show their passports repeatedly, just like they did in Nazi Germany as they try to navigate the many checkpoints. The residents of Watford are considered potential adversaries, just like you. If you find out or they find out what is really going on at the Grove. This was UK where they had the Billenberg Group meeting last year. And because behind the ring of steel over a hundred hand-picked enablers from all over the world, up to 150, are hiding behind thousands of gullible police. Barons like Goldman Sachs, TD, Bank, the International Monetary Fund, Swiss National Bank, some who might even seem innocuous, even innocent, like Oxford, Cardi, Stanford, Harvard, the Hoover Institution, King's College, London, are the scary ones. They teach rich kids to justify murdering the poor. They are the emotionless creatures plotting how to control every aspect of you and your loved ones forever for a handful of corporations. This is about people who have every intention of destroying life, but do not have the courage to say it out loud. They prefer to hide away like scared cowards in darkened rooms and sacrifice your children willingly at every turn. And due to a new flying phobia outbreak, it's hard to get the FBI in a black cop helicopter right now. Remember, there were two of them got thrown out of a, a helicopter, so I threw that in there as a joke. But don't worry. The Billenberg Group will have the Army, the Navy, what's left of SEAL Team 6, CSIS, CIA, FBI, Mossad, MI5, MI6, all about as useful as flypaper in a garbage dump. To be fair, CSIS was smart enough to get away, to get away with waterboarding kids because technically using Dr. Pepper is not waterboarding. The reality is, thank goodness for the ever-present contractors the jackals, all the satellite feeds, the drones, the robots, the sophisticated pre-crime electronic surveillance software have been functioning and the track tracing and databasing everyone on earth that ever spit an apple seed on the ground in order to identify people repulsed by their assault, by their assault on life, on finances, education, health, liberty, freedom of choice. All this to protect a handful of secretive anti-humans who literally and figuratively cower and hide in the corners of dark rooms, conniving ways to hijack the natural resources in every country worldwide. Not only to fuel their insatiable appetites, but to destroy and control. To carry out a sustained eugenics against all life on Earth. This is the biosphere included, of course. They attack the oceans with 90,000 ships burning bunker fuel. So toxic that just one ship is equal to 50 million cars pollutions. That's more cars than all of Canada. 90,000 of those ships is equivalent to 42 trillion people in automobiles. In automobiles. Each one of them with their own automobile every day on this planet. 42 trillion. They're responsible for genetically genetically engineering Earth under the guise of feeding humans with GMO. It contaminates the animals, the insects, the plants, the trees, and all life on Earth is in the late stages of being modified by a constant bombardment of GMO. There's 65,000 chemicals with no human or environmental studies and an incredibly damaging amount of radioactive or radio waves uh, wireless cell phones. If you could actually see all the the wireless signals with different spectrums of colors, like a rainbow, we couldn't you couldn't see your hand in front of your face anywhere. That's how much electronic you're being bathed in. Not to mention the smart meters they attach to your homes. They are so powerful they beam their signals out like slaves to the masters up to miles away 
And so that's not going to come through your house and the house next door. And all your houses are doing that. That's not being bathed on purpose. Along with the GMO. Insidious heavy metal poisons by toxic vaccines. Lowering education standards in increments over decades. Literally breed the intelligence out of our loved ones. All this accomplished by a handful of secretive Billenberg Group members working together to undermine your country charters. They are simply considered obtrusive obstacles, temporarily hindering their ability to control all life on Earth. Is the Billenberg Group meetings to save the world from the billions of gallons of waste dumped on the grounds in the 50s and 60s at Hanford's? Or the 41 miles of open pit at Hanford? Where a Dixie cup of this yellow cake will kill everyone inside of a room inside of an hour for a billion years. All escaping constantly into the environment. Or of the 45,000 drums 30 miles outside of San Francisco. Is the Billenberg Group meeting to save the world from 65,000 unregulated chemicals? Certainly not. And my computer now wants to do something weird. Sorry, folks. It's not going to play for tonight. I had to reboot everything to get online. Hi, Craig. If we lose a record, we should be able to call the NSA for a copy. Is the Billenberg Group, when they meet, do they meet to inform the world about GMO? Uh, the study shows all the nutrition is engineered out of the GMO corn and damaging parts per million of carcinogenic carcinogenic toxins are engineered into your GMO food. Is the Billenberg group meeting to tell the world that nutritionless GMO are used as accelerated pace in almost every single shop in North America? In almost all pharmaceuticals, baby foods, pet foods, and what's left over to feed the 27,000 children that die every day from dysentery, diarrhea, and pneumonia because of a lack of nutrition in their GMO food? Well, the feel-good food donations from Billenberg Group despots. Is the Billenberg Group meeting to tell the world that Fukushima takes 57 days to get across your ocean by ocean currents, that it takes 48 hours to reach your country through the jet streams, that is picked up by the rain by tens of thousands of miles of rain clouds on the ocean every day? Of course not. Do they meet and decide how to control that information? They certainly do. Are they in a position to control all of that? They certainly are. Are they the most influential uh, people on the planet? They most certainly are. Are they the reason that we can't talk to our loved ones? They certainly are. Are they the ones that are trying to destroy and control this entire planet? They certainly are. And who are these people? These are the people that are at the top of your music industry, at the top of your media, at the top of your universities, at the top universities and institutions, at the top banks, at the top entertainment, the top sports. Eric Smith, who destroyed YouTube's ability to comment to people in the comment section. Yeah, I can comment to the first 10 or 20. doesn't look that bad when people don't know any better. But if you go down further, you can't reply to anybody. What was so bad about that? It worked perfectly for the first seven years. So why get rid of it? Why de-index every category on YouTube when it worked perfectly for the first five years? Long before Google bought it and quite a long time after. Why did Eric Smith find it necessary to de-index the entire music industry and everything else off the internet. Why did uh, Google, Eric Smith, de-index 122,000 pages from YouTube of the top favorite, top rated, most responded daily in all the genres in such a short period of time and be one of the major players at Bilderberg Group? Why did he silence do you, do you, you see, YouTube was about you. 
It was the first time in the history of human, of people, of civilizations, ability to do something like that, to have an equalizer, where if you were abused and you were able to catch it on tape or someone was murdered by the thugs, then you can have some kind of justice. And that worked fine for the first five years. And then in a couple of year period, everybody got disappeared and replaced by a handful of corporations, politicians, and celebrities, which is exactly what happened to Facebook. They gave everybody a medium, and then they de-indexed everybody and replaced them all with a handful of corporations, politicians, the same corporations, celebrities, and politicians. And then the CIA and the FBI, in tandem with the owner of Twitter, created Twitter. And they gave a interview for about an hour and a half, sat together on a stage that I watched many years ago, about six months before they opened their door, how they were funding the CIA and the FBI had their funding partnered up with Twitter before it started. And so now the media out there won't touch YouTube. Everything comes out of Twitter, which is useless. It's okay for messaging, but not for a news story, not for a media representative that's supposed to be informing people. It's the most difficult thing imaginable. It's insignificant. But if a celebrity or anybody else says something, then all the media comes screaming out, oh, they twittered. And there was another little piece I wrote about the Billenberg that I thought was funny. I should read it. Was, this was the night before Billenberg, Fringe Festival, and all through the world. Not a creature was scurrying. They were all at the Watford Grove. The world's population was awakening. Hope was being born. Freedom is calling. It's no longer on shore. Bilderberg must feel caged. It's now hiding behind a ring of fear. Its challengers act bored. Jeez, all we have to do is shine a bright light in there. Their skin will wither and their teeth will all fall out. They can only exist hid away like scared clowns. And when we confront them, they will no longer rule our world. That's what YouTube was about. That's what the open internet was about. For the first time on this planet, you can pick these monsters out and you can go to work on them. If you do your research, you can do a whole lot of damage to them. If you're really good at it, you can have a few laughs. And still tear them apart. These are the people that wear the $5,000 suits and see, in order to control an industry, you don't have to control the male boy or the secretary or anybody else. You just got to control the people at the top. They control everything else. You don't have to tell them anything. See, you just got to tell the guy at the top. And he can arrange so that people do things a certain way. Or with, you can put posters up or make everybody sit in indoctrination classes. Or you can have scholarships for their kids set up so that they can go and work at a certain field. And that's what we see in society right now is this, this, this inbreeding that has been going on for so long. And then all of a sudden the internet showed up. And then the ones that were really pathetic, really disgusting, really disturbing, they got out of it pretty fast. Dozens and dozens of politicians have been torn apart by being open their mouth and getting caught on video and people see what they're really like and it's despicable and revolting but if you look deeper you realize there's groups out there like EarPAC uh, 7,500 lobbyists and 110,000 support network for Israel and so imagine if you got 420 lobbyists or 20 senators and congresspersons and you got 7,500 lobbyists getting on a congressperson's telephone, emails, knocking down their doors, and you got 110,000 people to help you do that. you got an unlimited budget, and you got a suitcase of cash you want to give them. It's cash. And it's laundered. And all they got to do is put a little addition to an amendment that no one gets to read. Right? Like Nancy Pelosi. We had to pass it so we can find out what was in it. 
So what we really are looking at is a, is a time where we have the power. We, we have that power, that ability to deal with these people on a personal level and destroy them, destroy all their credibility and de destroy their sense of, you know, hiding away in the dark by shining a light on them, by just talking about them. Like Brian last night, or like Angela, or um, McFarlane, Allison McFarlane from the Nuclear Regulatory Commission, or Jay Cullen from the University of Victoria, British Columbia, or uh, Ken uh, Buesler, who all talk about potassium-40 as if it's equal to radioactive isotopes. The stuff that's in your home, the stuff that's in your food, you know, the in natural insignificant background radiation. And, see, these are naughty, not naughty, but evil people that know better, that are extraordinarily educated. And yet, they're just like the Billenberg Group, where they chose to go out and manipulate as many people as they can in radio interviews and in lectures, and make a living at it, and be at it all the time. And no one holds them to account. No one points a finger and says, well, that's a lie, because... The Billenberg Group controls the media, and that's not their job. Their job is to put the useful monsters who are willing to sell out, who don't have a conscience, in positions of power and influence. And that paradigm can't exist much longer. It, it can't because people like us exist. And so we're, you know, we are um, sunlight to these creatures that can't exist in sunlight and have to live in dark, damp places. And that's what the Billenberg Group are. They hide away, they fear. They hide behind walls, behind military, behind aircrafts, behind helicopters, thousands of police, satellites, drones, the Navy, the secret services from all the planet. They have to hide away like cowards. They are ashamed of what they do. They know what they're doing. They're ashamed to tell people. They're ashamed and they know that if you shine a light on them, they will wither up and their teeth will fall out because people will hunt them down when they realize what's truly going on. That's who's controlling all the Fukushima news. I spent every minute I can in two days and I probably got about 40 new models, dispersion models from the ocean and through the year. Very powerful stuff. And at the same time, you know, I was watching... Uh, hi, Mugget. Thank you. You're too kind. Sydney, I say hi to everybody for a second. Lunar Legion. Sometimes I get distracted, too. And I got, just got so much there. I can't possibly get through it all night, but I'm trying to rush, I guess. So I just say hi to everybody for a few moments. Break it up a little bit. It's probably my favorite part of the night anyway. As I get to say hi... And I get to read some pretty crazy comments. Someone last night told me to expect a knock on my door. That was an interesting comment. Uh, they didn't make any more comments. That was the only comment on their page. And I left that up there last night, of course. Yeah, thanks, Mom, and knocks. You're right. Hi, Ben. Ben's over in Comox. Hi, uh, is Vancouver on, in case people don't know. Hi, Wake New. Hi, Troy. You smoke too much? Well, I don't know why you're saying that, but... I don't, I really don't. Hi, Sudi. Uh, J.T. Manson, Annie Beck. Yeah, I wrote that, Annie Beck. That was me. Checks and balances. Did Lunar thumbs up. Stacy Lane. I'm just saying hi to a few people. Click my thoughts again. Because I got, I was on a roll there, but I kind of got distracted for a second. Thanks, baby mama. You're too kind. Sergeant New York. I'll get a haircut one of these days. Don't worry, folks. There's more in my life than haircuts right now. Spider Guy, 
And I got I only got one down there like a half mile down the road. Really nice, extraordinarily nice people. EF Spider Guy says click like. I thought that was pretty important because I hadn't seen him before. I don't think, or maybe I have. Hi, Craig Hinkle. So there's two people talking about smoking pot. What's that all about? What's that got to do about the radioactive isotopes from Fukushima? Unless you're trying to get away from the cancer. And got the eye roll. There you go. Well, I don't know, man. I don't know what you mean. It's just like stuff like that. It makes the site look amateur. That's all, right? When people start talking about crap. That has nothing to do with what we're talking about. And I don't care what you do. I really don't. You don't want to get me started. You really don't. I was like, my, what happened to my video last night? Four, five hundred views or something like that? What the hell is that all about? Never showed up for two hours? Because he's one of the big mouthpieces going around really doing damage. He's really effective. He's very convincing to anybody who don't know any better. Brian Henley, right? Dr. Brian Henley. So, like, when you when you knock these guys around a bit, they don't like that. And when we're doing it every night, and people come here, and they get it on a video, and then they go down the list, and they see all the people I went out and slammed around, it's really, you know, like Thomas Skrokenberger, I can't pronounce his name, I'm sorry. You'll find his video over my favorite, extraordinarily talented, un unimaginably talented singer, folks. He's truly a treasure. Uh, make no mistake about it, i got a couple of thousand artists on my page. He's truly a treasure. I know vocals, and that's amazing vocals. That's, you can't ask. You couldn't hope for better than that, trust me. That's as good as you can hope for it. He was saying, i got 51,000 on Thunderfoot's video. 51,000. Way to go, folks. Way to go, everybody that uh, made that happen. You people are incredible, unimaginable. I make videos and move on. I'm not finished with Thunder for you. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> Don't be a while before it finishes with him. I downloaded all of his stuff. All those models I downloaded yesterday and day, a lot of that's going to be for him. He's finished. He's done. Hi, Big Now TV. Isn't the pot radioactive too? Wait, no, says. <laughs> yeah, but pot cures cancer, man. They've done a study on people who smoke pot every day, and they had the least amount of cancers. I'm not sure if it was Stanford or Harvard or something. One of them, anyway. Yeah, but pot's a bit off topic unless we're using it in that context. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with it. I'm not saying it's all not. I'm not saying it's a good, not a. It's got a thousand uses, okay? And then some. Unimaginable uses. You know, if the government, if you let the government smoke pot at work, we wouldn't have half the problem we got right now. <laughs> the biggest problem we got is GMO after Fukushima. Fukushima is bad. 60 days for the currents to carry it across the ocean. Do the math. Of how fast the currents are, how many hours are in a day, don't forget that one, 24. And then divide it all into 5,500 anyway, which is the typical miles. But you can go to the other end of the country, so divide it into 7,500 for the jet streams. Rather, it's 100 miles an hour is low balling the speed for the jet streams. They go up to 400 miles an hour. But at 100 miles an hour, it's going to hit my coast in British Columbia in 48 hours, or a little over 48 hours. That's 4,800 miles in 48 hours at 100 miles an hour. So I was like, hi, Julie West, work? Yeah. You know, that's a good question for folks. And I'll check the comment section after if I don't catch it. Um, when is a good time for me to post the preamble to the shows for everybody? Is it better for me to post it 6 hours or 12 hours or right after to the next show? Or is it better to post it uh, two hours, 50 minutes, five minutes? Just go live, man, as soon as you get it ready, man. It's too much work. Thunderfart. Uh, it's too much work because I have to 
it's, it's a lot of work for me to do. It takes me two hours. From the time that I set the show each night, it takes two hours. And I don't really have the time in that to do anything. I need to get ready to do this, to get my get everything happening so I can get this to happening happen. And that's why you see the two-hour typical. And so when it happens, anything less than two hours, I scramble. I have to scramble to get ready for this. Just to set up the, just to set up uh, the Adobe for the stream, I have to go in and set everything manually every bloody time. It's frighteningly scary. That's why I have to check every night at the beginning of the videos to see if the stream is actually going to work or not. Hi, Mr. M. A. Yeah, Health Canada, I got a link below about Health Canada. I had he went out and found a plume coming along the coastline of British Columbia in a plane for 18 hours, taking samples every 15 minutes in a multi-million dollar operation, never told Canadians that they found a plume every piece of the way for 18 hours. But the models I got today, I got some of the models I got today showing, say, the iodine-131 coming out of Fukushima, and, and it doesn't stop for like 20 days that model. It just keeps hemorrhaging out there, like it's hemorrhaging into the ocean. I got um, just like so much today, folks. I can't wait to share it. And it's on that computer, unfortunately. Three, four hours is okay. Three, four hours, Kathy. As long as you post this, Candace. The longer I, Michael says, the longer you post before I post, it's the more chats you will have to read. Thanks, Mickey. We like you, Mickey. You know that. Can't say thank you enough, you know. And Mama Knox, for all she does. And you know, just everybody. The video stopped big now. Did I get kicked off or what? Two hours says Lori Craig. Two hours. Um. I got you blunt for Obama right here, the lunar says. <laughs> yeah, I know checks and balances. Thank you. And cheesecake is being a dick? What's that all about? That's not very nice. This guy is paranoid. What the fuck? I suppose... Not gonna tell us why I'm paranoid or why I'm insane. He's just gonna say he's insane. Shut up, leave. Don't talk to him. Don't listen to him. Meanwhile, you're hid away like a coward, afraid to show your face like a coward. I'm gonna go check it out. Maybe I'm making a mistake. Cheesecake got me number. Cheesecake, where's your toe? I'll find them. I don't care anyway. That's pretty interesting, eh? Hang on, folks. Let's see what's going on here. Hi, Janie. Janie Ferguson. Um, I got your video up there, Janie, in my favorites. You got an awesome vocals. Unbelievably good kid. I meant to say hi to you last night. I seen you there. So just so everybody knows her video is over my favorite. You can go check it out. Very talented. And that's the whole thing. You know, there's so many, Troy, you know, there's so many talented people out there. Where the hell did Cheesecake go? Well, hurry up and come back, Cheesecake. I'm not finished with you yet. Um, okay, let me get back on track here. Scientists admit, now a friend of mine sent me a text and said, we don't know the, uh, so, uh, it was a link to an article on red ice creation. Scientists admit, we don't know the impact of Fukushima radiation on humans. Gee, you don't suppose. You actually do. How could you not? How many people do you murder a year with chemotherapy? The people who survive it are so fortunate, so lucky. You know, 
they got something else on their side. It wasn't the chemo that saved them, okay? There was something else there that saved them. They probably had access to a lot of uh, uh, organic food. That would make sense, right? So researchers published on the National Institute of Health have released a study that is now scrubbed from the Internet. That, uh, that was a few days ago, and they scrubbed it. The centers on the need for establishing reliable and accurate radiation dose estimates for the affected population. The study released in January of 2014 details how scientists do not know the impact of radiation exposure to the human body and how long-term effects of exposure to Fukushima radiation, the MOX fuel, is still unknown. Because we've never taken nuclear weapons, remilled them, <coughs> and then blew up the site, and spread rods all over. So that's chunks of rods. You know, these were these were 12 foot rods, 122,000 in a pool, and inside of each rod, the, the 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 bundles, there's 80 in a bundle. They got a zirconium coating on them, right? to stop them coming in contact with other things because they, they, they catch fire. And there's a buildup inside of the rods when they're going through the chain reaction anyway of cesium. And, you know, all the scientists are focusing on the cesium. But if you took all the daughters and then you took all the daughters of the iodine, and which some of them are 129 million year half-life, these are from chain reaction. There's nothing safe, not a single isotope from the chain reaction is safe, period. There is no safe, ever. And then you got the plutonium, you know, you got your, your four major daughters, the 238, 239, 240, 241. And you got uranium, and it's the major 234, 235, but there's so many other daughters, incredible, with lo unbelievable long life and you put all of those into the models right into the plumes into the studies into the dispersal models to the aerosol models if you put them all in there excuse me i'm burping when i'm talking there if you put all of that into your models you wouldn't see any land ever you couldn't see the ocean or the land period and so for some reason we don't do that because if you did we would have been working on this from the very beginning. And once again, you know, it's only an informed population that can change this. How can we ever change this by watching mainstream media? No one's going to have an idea there's an issue. How can you change anything by going to any of the Billenberg Group's medias or outlets or information warehouses, propaganda machines, like the media itself, like radio itself, the controlled unbelievably controlled, manipulated, and deceptive, and deceitful, and hideously unethical media. Are you going to get informed there? Of course not. So how, and because they can't inform the population, because the population will rise up. That's why the Billenberg Group is so important. Besides the fact, they're giving away a solvent of the countries and the people, and they help to expedite the natural resources now, normally the monetary, there's a default in a country that will take a loan from the World Bank and then they'll come in looking for their pounds of flesh. And it's usually give us your natural resources. So they need someone in key positions to go, yeah, we defaulted on our loan and sign it away. And so that's why people are power. You know, um, my dad was president of this big, I'm not going to say the names, but this big organization. And... For quite a few years, I'm pretty proud of that. And he quit it, and he became secretary. We're out on the ocean, and um, I distinctly remember that, actually. And there was, which is kind of interesting, really, the sky was black for about four days with migratory birds. Birds were landing on the roof of the boat, on the deck of the boat. They were grabbing fish, trying to pull it off the hooks, blah, blah, blah. Uh, there was tens of thousands of whales. You had to slow the boat down. It was inconceivable because the migratory stocks were flowing. And so for like 200 miles wide, there was nothing but birds. Millions and millions of birds everywhere you looked. Sky would turn black with birds. Literally black for four days. Even on sunny days, the skies would be black. 
you would be in shade. So much birds. The ocean was full of them. And they were moving to the north, chasing the herrings, the capelin, the fries. And this is something I experienced many years of my life on the ocean, was these migratory things. But anyway, long story short was, I, I was... We were on the ocean. It was a pretty calm day. Uh, it was really something else. And I, I said to Dad, I said, Dad, you know, why, why, why did you step down as president to take the secretary job? What's, what, why would you even do that, Dad? Uh, and I had said it to him a number of times before, but he didn't respond to me. And you're shouting over an engine and blah, blah, blah. But anyway, he said, well, the only guy who ever gets anything done is the secretary. He sets everything up. He arranges everything. And then the president goes in, shakes a hand, gets a picture. Got to get a shave, Dana, all the time when you're the president. You got to wear toys. And he says, that's not me. I said, but the guy, the guy who puts it all together, he doesn't get no credit. He doesn't want the credit. His, he has satisfaction. He has something that no pat on the back could ever uh, make any better, even though it helps is the fact that he was able to, to put something decent together and get something decent out of it and make it happen. And the way I see it, I take a lot of lessons from my life, is that if I inform enough people, uh, beat up enough of them, um, I can do my little part. And if you know, But even better, if I could educate people, inform people, rally people, and most importantly, you know, never fabricate or misrepresent on purpose, anything. I can make mistakes because I cover a thousand things, but I'm so conscious of it, it's very rare. And that's the whole point. You know, that's what gives me the confidence, is I know I can't be perfect. I'm not going to try to be. I don't think that's uh, necessary, and I don't think it's actually possible. Uh, but I certainly don't make as many mistakes as any of my opposition or my adversaries. I consider these adversaries because they're in the dark and I'm in the light. They can't walk in the light like me. They can't come out with a video and say, Danny, you're wrong. They can't do that. I can. You can. More importantly. So much more importantly. To me, that's more important than everything put together. Is that everybody has the ability to stop someone in their tracks and just make them think or more importantly educate them that's so important that if you can't do that uh, in this day and age it's because you went to mainstream media only you went to the Billenberg groups uh, outlets only right you were misdirected misinformed so much that when you come to the average person who's talking about it who's still just as misinformed but doing their best it still won't make sense. And so unless the real narrative is out there and it's very firm, it's very real, it's very tangible, uh, then it's no good for me to do the things I do. And so I, that's why I have to put so much time, energy, and effort in it because it's okay that I can do that a few times, but to do it every night, that's something different, see? That's something you really got to pull every day. I, gotta, I, I don't know where I pull it from, but I pull... The energy to set it all up, to go through it all again. I do it willingly, don't get me wrong. And when I stop at the end of the night, I'm, I feel satisfied. Um, so I'm not going to do well on that much longer. I don't know how the hell I went down that road. And I guess it's okay too. Because sometimes you got to bring a perspective of what... Uh, I'm not saying, you know, look at poor Dana, how much I sacrifice. Right? I, I, I will never do that. I'm just making sure people understand that don't know any better because everybody that knows me knows this stuff. And that's why I'm apologizing because I don't want to bore you people. But, you know, all these all these uh, models I got today, dispersion models, um, you know, and then someone would say to me, go away, Dana, you know, how could radiation possibly get over here? And really mean that is offensive. And it uh, doesn't light me up uh, tonight in particular because I went through all those models a day and it's just it's so shocking that all these models exist. And they headed the NRC a few days ago 
at a Senate hearing says there is no models that we know about. There's no models from other countries that we are aware of. And that's their own models. And it's the government models that I got today. That'll show up soon on my site here. I was tempted today to take them all and string them all together, turn the sound off. <laughs> Just put something out there, but that's not right. And if I start the project, once I open that folder up to go at it, I can't stop. So if I start that tomorrow, uh, and the video don't show up tomorrow night of a live stream, it's because I can't stop now that I'm going down that road. And so, but the video would show up tomorrow night. Um, because it's one of those videos where you can't lose track of what your collective thoughts are as you started and still have something um, coherent show up, right? Something that's, it's got to be lucid or it's no good to anybody, you know. And what's the sense of putting it out there? Why spoil it by putting it out there without taking the time to do it right? You know, uh, like I say, in the near future, I will have that. Uh, $10,000 TriCaster and then when I do shows like this uh, that will help me because I, I, I have the energy to do all the extras I have the energy to, to click the button so you can see the videos as I'm talking I have the ability to organize all that and do it by myself I truly do and I know that about me <laughs> that that would be gratifying for me to when I was talking about something because I could type because I got around 11,000 pieces now on Fukushima collected. And so that's a lot to sort through, right? So I keep it on one computer and that's all that's on the computer. And so it's easier to go through it because you can't even conceive how much I gather. <laughs> I'm a pack rat. I'm literally a pack rat on the internet. And But I organize too. And I'm like, yee, yeah, yeah, I got this, I got this, I got this. I got that, I got this. Makes me excited. I probably got 20,000 headlines of important headlines. I know there's a video I put up there a couple of years back uh, just before Christmas. It was supposed to be for a screen capture. It got 1,800 headlines. If you type into my search engine on the page 1,800, there's probably one of the best screen capture, or not screen capture, um, screen savers you could ever get. There's 18 really cool headlines. And so if you're sitting around with somebody, it's like three hours long. If you're sitting around with somebody and you've got that playing up on a big screen, oh, man, and they don't know much. And you say, because every, like every seven seconds, there's another headline. It'll blow you away. Just blow you away. Not about Fukushima so much as it's about world and everything that goes on in this world and the shockiness from all the best resources out there. And I, I do that all the time with my friends. And we can sit here and just look at it. And then we we're talking for half an hour and it's still playing away in the background. We look over and we read a couple and then we're talking away for another half an hour about that subject and all different new updates and stuff like that. So it's really fascinating when you do stuff like that too. So if you've got a whole bunch of stuff that you, you think you would like to talk about with your loved ones, you make it into a little movie, get rid of the audio, and then use it as a screensaver, right? And so if you don't like a seven-second headline, it's okay, because there's another headline in seven seconds. And so it's not going to be sitting there where they got to stare at it for ten minutes and listen to everything. It's just enough to subtly uh, get in their brain. They can't get it away. Right? You know how subliminal messaging works? Well, how do you think I want all my friends over to this? Every seven seconds, there's another headline. I throw out another quirk or quack. And that's how you you can beat anybody unconscious with the truth, is you confront them with it, but in a nice way, right? When it comes to friends, comes to families, comes to loved ones, if that headline don't grab them, the next one will. See? And if that headline don't grab them, the next one do, just move right on right away. Say, yeah, I'll go back to that one later on. Don't even say that. Just click right over to the next one. Or like you say, if you've got an auto playlist. So if you gather up all the headlines, and a good way to do that is to go over to E and E News and type in um, plutonium. Type in, and now no matter what you type in, you go to the bottom of the page, and you'll see more pages. Go to the last page, and that'll be the earliest, right? And so now go backwards from there through all of that, all the plutonium. Then go backwards through all the uranium. Then type in plume. And then go backwards through all the plumes. Then type in from back from March 11th all the way up to now. 
and see how well versed you get, you know, with your loved ones. You can do that, something like that. Say, hey, look on this one. And then the dates are there for each one of them. And you can go right through the system like that. So you can pick a subject that they're willing to talk about, like uh, a for type forecast in there, or type in rain, or type in uh, baby in iodine 131. And you get uh, stories that are aggregated from all over the planet. What is more precious than that? What could possibly be more precious than that? There's a link below to ENE News. And in the right-hand side of the page, you'll see the search engine. Just type in a keyword, just a single keyword to get you started. Go to the bottom of the page. Go all the way over to the first page, the last page. Because the first page is the most recent news. But go all the way to the last page, trust me. And start there. And... If you do that with your family member, or just yourself, or just for a project, or just because, um, there, you can no longer just sit there uh, without a narrative. Now you have a serious narrative, right? And another suggestion I got for everybody while I'm at this is um, pick something you're really good at concerning Fukushima. And then every day get better at that. Okay? Because so, in the future we go to war. Your, your knowledge in that particular field, like just do iodine 131. Or just do cesium 137. Or just do um, radioactive fallout. Or just do any of these subjects and get really good at it. If it works for you, right? Find one that works for you. And then start sharing that information as much as you can in any ways you can. Uh, make yourself extraordinarily articulate just on one subject. That's a start. Right after that, you can expand in every direction. Think about it this way. You know, when I teach students how to play guitar, what I do is I want to teach them lead guitar. So I'll teach them a scale, just a simple scale. And then I'll teach them to do nothing else for the next six lessons. Only that one scale, and what I want to do with the first lesson is a hammer-on on that scale. So the whole scale, say seven notes, they're going to do hammer-ons. And then the next lesson, they're going to do, and I'll play rhythm for them, and the next lesson, they're going to do pull-offs with hammer-ons. And then the next lesson, they're going to do pull-offs with hammer-ons on the same scale with a bend, bend up. And so the next lesson they're going to do pull-offs, hammer-ons, bend up, bend down. Next lesson is, right, you see where I'm going. Then it's a slide with the other ones. And so by the end of about 12 lessons with the other stuff, with the harmonics and everything else, and I'm doing a rhythm, they're playing the lead guitar. And now they can take any scale and apply the hammer-on, the pull-offs, the slides, the bends, right? But if you get really good on one scale, it's easy now to transfer all that, because the, the technique is not about the millions of scales, it's about the seven techniques of hammer-ons, pull-offs, slides, bends, right? You know what I mean? And so, don't try to learn the millions of scales first, just take one scale, get really good at it, get really good at the techniques, and then you can take all those techniques and go to the millions of scales and instantly be able to adapt and fit in. And, I, and that's one of the aspects I carry into my life all the time is, you know, I focus in on certain things and then I branch out from there after I get good at that. And that's why I got so many videos on my site. This site, you know, was, was my third account. And uh, I've done really good on my other two sites, um, but they got knocked down. Because I used to always use, uh, I used to be really heavy onto using editing for videos and incorporating me into it. Uh, I would put a make, put an amazing amount of time in it. Uh, it could be somebody, could be somebody with something serious going on. Hang on, folks. Hi, Albert. Hi, Pam. Hi, DC Babu. Hi, Lunar. Hang on, I see a few people here. How long have I been going for? 54 minutes. 
We'll start winding down. Sorry, folks. I kind of went off into another direction there tonight. But that's been I've been thinking about that for a while, and I wanted to try to put it out there for people to try to to understand that you have a lot of power. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay, Jay, I'll do that. That's pretty funny. Thank you. So, not tonight, though. Um, so, let me say hi to everybody. Lunar, Sergeant, Mickey, the leader brings out the best. We just got to find one. Night all. York is out. See you, Sarge. Christian Barton says, burn all GMO crops. That a boy, you go. Same, same, doing Tai Chi. Kerry Musgrave, Janie Ferguson. So that's an unusual name. I, I'm not even sure how to pronounce it. Janie? Janini? Janini? I try to pronounce everything, so I'm really terrible. Is there a way we can find the plumes, NASA or something? Go over to ENE News and type in plume. It'll, and they'll be linked up to the original studies from NOAA, from the other uh, institutions, universities that have put them out, governments, the models, and then short paragraphs, but there'll be links there to link you right over. Mrs. Ferguson, Mr. Hemi, unfortunately all the Amish are in PA. Okay, I lost everyone. one try. There was so much cool science. Uh, Mominox, Kurtzer K, I have to find out what that's all about. Actually, that's not true. Yeah, you got to make sure your seeds are not GMO. Thank you, Lori. Thank you. Anna Beck. Telephone Dana. Yeah, that was a... Yep, that's me. Hi, John. Thank you, John. You're awesome, by the way. Thank you. Hi, Brian. Champion. Janie Ferguson again. Tony says night. Pam. Thank you, Pam. Yeah, sometimes I go off in different directions, and they're always, I'm fine, okay, for sure. Thanks, Troy. Thanks, Jocelyn Wickers. Why, thank you. Kathy Reed, thank you. Kurtzer. Waving and smiling at Mr. Hemi. Here, Mr. Hemi. You're not feeling good tonight, I hear. Julie Wirt. Uh, James Foote. 42. Hi, Zoe. Zoe heard. <laughs> she knows what a text message is. That's how good my dog is. Hi, Mark. JD. Beat DC. The Limp. Yeah. Joe Mammy. Yeah, I missed you the last couple times, Joe. Thank you. Toxic. 311s. Annie Beck. Huma. Ben. Kurtzer Sterloid. Uh, Sydney, oh, who did I forget there? Lori, Stacy, Lane, Big Now, Albert, Anna Beck, Julie, Miss Milky the Clown was here. Yay! Night, night, Miss Milky. Miss Milky. We love Miss Milky. She's a sweetie. Trust me. Nobody can do that much work without being a good soul. Okay, that's just the way it is, and nobody knows that better than I do. I've seen literally everything she's put out, so anybody wants to criticize her, got to go through me first, period. Make, make, make a mistake about it, I'm coming for you. If I catch you at it. Amthurst, last chance, put your thumbs up, thumbs up. Nah, I don't mind. If you're sharing, if it helps to share, it's good. I guess, you know, I shouldn't say that. Angela, okay, folks, here we go. We made it up to the limit. Craig, hint, call it 58 minutes. I'm just rambling at this stage, so I'm not even going to bother. Have we got anything to say before I give it up for tonight? I think it was a good stream, you know. I think every one of these are good streams. There's a lot of energy uh, with so many people participating. That makes it pretty, pretty, um, pretty easier for me. I'm still going to do it, but I get, like, I, I seem to relax. I've been noticing the more, the more I engage you folks, the more I say try to say hi or something. I, I always seem to feel better right away. Like if I feel unsettled, a little bit, a little stage fright. No worries. I still it seems it seems to settle down when I talk to people like that. 
because I can identify with you folks because I read your comments. I visit you pages. I look at your videos. I look at your favorites, right? I make decisions based upon that. And if I don't like what I see, I block you. I don't have any shame in that whatsoever. I know the game. But I don't block anybody unless I track it down for sure and I'm certain. I hate doing that. But it's a necessary thing. And the person last night who told me to expect a knock on my door, expect a shot in the head. Okay? I'm not to be messed with. I don't care. Come to my door anytime you want. Any freaking time, man. I don't care. You're not an issue for me, I can guarantee you. I'm not worried about you or anything else like you. I don't care if you're the government. I'm not worried about you. Didn't do nothing wrong. you done everything wrong. We'll catch you folks tomorrow night. It's a personal issue that somebody got, or it's a threat. I'm not sure, but all the indications was there that was a real threat. So I'm not... I've never thought about you all day, but I remember you tonight. Don't forget that. We'll see you folks tomorrow night. It was an awesome stream.